Hi, my name is Steve Bulmer. I am bassist and a board member of the New England Jazz Ensemble. First of all, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to view our Kickstarter uh, video for our Peter and the Wolf Jazz Project. Before we get into the specifics of the project, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about the New England Jazz Ensemble. The New England Jazz Ensemble is a not-for-profit organization that's been in existence for over 25 years. One of our most successful avenues for bringing jazz to the public has been through our performance in the third stream. That is the intersection of classical or classic music and jazz. Our recording and performances of Duke Ellington's Nutcracker Suite as part of our collection entitled A Cookin' Christmas has been a mainstay for the ensemble for many years in the New England area. This brings us to our current project, a jazz version of Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. An iconic work, Peter and the Wolf has introduced countless young people to instruments of the symphony orchestra as well as classical music in, in general. It weaves a story in our minds and imprints our imagination with a beautiful soundtrack. The work has rarely been explored as a crossover piece in the jazz idiom, but we think it offers incredible artistic opportunity. The various sections of the work offer different jazz styles to be presented throughout the work. A rich collection of instruments, individually or in small combos within the ensemble, are ready to portray the story's character with some variation. Imagine a pork pie hat wearing granddaddy scolding Peter by way of a plucky bass fiddle. And I'll play some ideas for you in a minute. Imagine Peter, Sasha the Bird, Sonia the Duck, and Ivan the Cat personified by soloists from the trumpet, trombone, saxophone, and rhythm sections, each with their own distinct jazzy personalities. A boppy bird, a bluesy duck, a sultry cat. Imagine the roar of the big band in full swing when the wolf is confronted, culminating in an exciting drum solo as the hunters loose their volley. And finally, Envision the work wrapped in a new narrative steeped in hipster, neo-beatnik stylings, describing Peter and his cohorts in a modernized setting. Also envision the narrative actually intertwining with the music as the narrator turns into jazz singer and adds a bit of scat and vocalese style to the story and to the score. This is our vision for the project. We are seeking your support to help us turn this vision into reality. We need enough funds to cover the cost of composing and recording a CD-length jazz version of Peter and the Wolf. This will include a through-composed piece of the main work as we just described. It will also include some originally composed pieces inspired by the story, the characters, or the original music. But the project is much more than just a whim or a concept. It's already underway and part of the remainder of this video will share some of the artistic concepts already in motion. The project is scheduled to take place during 2014 and be complete hopefully by the end of the year. Swing it, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good to get a taste of it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so one reason I've been standing here with my string bass the whole time is I thought it would be nice to share uh, conceptually what the part of Grandpa might sound like 
played on the string bass. In the orchestra, it's normally played by the bassoon, but of course we don't have one of those in the jazz ensemble, so we're thinking about maybe translating that to the plucky string bass, as I mentioned before. So here's just a couple ideas I have for that role. Once again, we really appreciate your consideration of a donation to this project. In return, for your donation of $100 or more, you will receive a copy of the recording and your name will be printed on the CD liner notes if you so choose. For your donation of $25 or more, you will receive a digital copy of the Peter and the Wolf Jazz composition. And for your donation of $10 or more, you will receive a digital copy of one of the original accompanying pieces. The original concept here was that uh, uh, Prokofiev wrote, he, he, he was commissioned by a children's theater in Moscow in 1936 to, to write something that would uh, develop uh, good musical tastes for children. That's, that's, that's what it was all about. And so he was so intrigued with the idea that he wrote it in four days, the whole thing. And uh, Wow. Yeah. And so the story, too. He wrote the story. Wow. It wasn't like somebody else's uh, yeah. deal. He wrote the story and the music. And so that's pretty quite, a, quite an achievement. <laughs> For the other pieces, uh, this is the introduction. For the... For the rest of it, I, I think that we will uh, work with like different uh, different styles, different styles of jazz. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe uh, this is like a straight big band type thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I was thinking of is trying to uh, incorporate uh, some uh, some of the writing styles, like for for instance. Uh, this is just a plain uh, big band chordal approach, but uh, maybe something on uh, the idea of a modal thing, uh, you know, like especially for some of the darker moments in the story, um, and uh, doing that, uh, and then maybe a blues approach on some of the uh, sections, like a blues, uh, like a slow blues or fast blues, like a slow. Uh, sad blues or a really tempo happy type blues. Uh, also, um, I have I haven't really decided where this is going to go, but uh, they, they, uh, there's also a style of uh, you know just like a ballad style. I was wondering, have you thought about, are you going to kind of assign instruments to the characters like in the orchestral version or sections or have we not thought that far? I either? haven't. Uh, well, yeah, uh, of course we don't, we don't have an oboe. So probably, or a bassoon. Or, or a bassoon, right. Well, we have baritone sax which could cover some mm -hmm. and there's, or, or bass mm -hmm. or tuba for that matter. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the um, uh, just giving it a, uh, I, instead of an oboe, let's see, uh, a, a trumpet with a straight mute yeah. approximates that, that duck type sound. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have clarinet, so that's not a problem. I would never tell a sax player that, you know, a soprano sax could play the role of a duck either, but I, I wouldn't say that to their face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They know it deep they, down inside. Deep though. down inside they know it. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, yeah that's funny. <laughs> uh, the New England Jazz Ensemble is really excited about this project. Thank you for taking the time to hear our story and helping us create a new work to promote big band jazz in a brand new 
way.